So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that I want you guys to understand is what we're asking us to do is identify the center, the foci, the vertices, and the covertices. So the problem is, though, you guys can see that this is like in the standard form. It's not in our conic section form. That's x minus h squared divided by a or b squared. Let's just do a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Per the last problem, per the last problem, if you have an equation in this format, it's pretty easy to find the center, the foci, or, or I'm sorry, the center, the vertices, and the covertices, right? Would you guys agree with me? It's pretty easy to figure out what a, b, and the h, and k is, right? But you guys can see this equation is not in that format. The main important thing I want you guys to understand, though, is remember, just like a parabola, this x minus h squared, that's a binomial squared. So if we don't have binomial squareds, we need to create binomial squareds. And the algebraic method for creating a binomial squared is completing the square. So what we're going to do is we are going to group the x's and the y's together. So therefore, I have x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus 4y equals 6. Does everybody see how I did that? Now, remember completing the square, our a of our quadratic term has to be 1, which in this case, we're good. So what I'm going to do, though, is just group them, um, group them together, just so we kind of know. We're going to have to complete the square twice, because the form is x, square, x minus h squared and y minus k squared. All right, so we don't have to factor anything out, which is good. Um, in pre-calculus, we'll do those types of problems. But for here, we just can f focus on this. The next thing we need to do is take our b divided by 2 and squared. So in this, for the x's, I have 6 divided by 2 and squared. Follow the order of operations. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Over here, I have um, negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. four. So remember, um, now what we're going to want to do is add those values inside of our parentheses to create our perfect square trinomial. But since we're adding them to one side, we want to make sure we add them to the other side as well. <coughs> so now I have x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 6. Again, since I added 9 over here, I have to add 9 over here. Since I added 4 over here, I have to add 4 over here. Does everybody see mathematically what I did? Yes? No? OK. Um, OK, so now in this case, I can uh, complete the square here. This becomes x plus 3 squared. Plus here, this becomes y minus uh, 2 squared. And then therefore, this becomes uh, 13, 13, 19. Now, if we still want to set this equal to 1, um, we could divide by this. But what happens, guys? If we divide by this, we get the exact same, right? Right? 19 would be on both sides. So therefore, do you guys remember what we talked about last class? Or what would this be an equation of? Circle. This is a circle. This is a circle. We can still find the center. So the center is negative 3 comma 2. R squared is equal to 19. So that means the radius is R equals the square root of 19. All right, so in this case, we have a circle. I'm going to give you guys one where, again, you have to factor out a number. It's a little bit more difficult problem. But just remember, and remember, a circle is an ellipse, right? It is an ellipse. The only difference with the circle is we don't have major and we don't have vertices and covertices because the distance from the center to any point on a circle is always the same. same. Yes? 
um, just because the equation, remember, it's r squared. It's like a squared. It's, I mean, yes, the, I mean, you could say it's plus or minus, but the radius, it doesn't matter if the radius is to the positive or negative. The length is the radius that we're oh. looking for. 